right, we're in. Here we go. Not far from Outpost. Beautiful. Okay. Not a bad start. Let's see if we can get there in one piece. Weird thing about this um, about this server is that you don't always spawn on the beach. Like it can sometimes just chuck you in the middle of the map, which is kind of strange, but it is what it is. So I've got a base design in mind. That's like the main um, the main aim I've got for this. I haven't really loaded in with like a challenge or like a target that I wanted to hit in terms of gameplay. I've just seen a base design. Well, I've seen a few that I liked recently uh, and figured I would work out the logistics of building them in real time in the game as opposed to just on build servers, you know? So we're gonna have a little farm up, get some basics. Monuments wise, there's not really a lot around here, but I think that might help us ultimately towards the end. And while I'm not like absolutely trying to hide from all the PVP, like I'm still happy to steer clear of like the majority of it while I'm playing solo. Should be enough to at least get some tools together, get a bag down. I don't like running around here at night, so we're gonna hang out inside the safe zone until the sun comes back and then go from there. few more little bits for recycling, some more sewing kits and stuff. Every little helps, you know. I think what I'll do is I'll get the starter base down first and then I can go on a mission for food and animals, you know. For me, the importance of a safe recycler when playing solo Rust is absolutely massive. So factoring that in, I decided that it was probably best for me to build somewhere close to Outpost. Imagine if it dropped it right here, that'd be amazing. <gasps> No way. That's almost right overhead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this stash down. Hide the stuff that I've already got. Is it down already? It can't be down already, can it? Please have something good in there. So we've got two pistols, some clothing, some HV ammo, some pistol bullets, I can, all of which I can research, which is good. And a chainsaw, which is kind of huge. So conveniently just fell in my lap. That's amazing. Just wanted to learn the pistol bullet. Trying to make the best out of my good luck so far, I learnt the pistol bullet made another stash and put it next to the other one. I needed the guns, but I didn't need to have them on me right away. Hiding them and making progress on the base was obviously more important. Right, back to the farming business then, I suppose. One of the things I hate about Rust the most is having to farm wood. So I farmed extra stone so that I knew I could go back to Outpost and trade it in for the resources I needed for the base. Let's go five, yeah, four for building and a TC. I found an area not too far from Outpost that I really liked the look of for the base. So I figured that with the server getting busier, I was gonna run out of time. I might as well just bite the bullet and get going. Triangle, then square, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the starter base done. 
keeps me celebrating. I haven't put a bloody roof over my TC. Okay, so TC's in. That's the basics of it, I think. change it a little bit from the original go to oh was it the campfire that was doing it I took a break from building to get my head around the second part of the build and to go and farm some scrap. I came back with much more than I thought I would. Like 600 scrap, I'm nearly at a tier 2 already. Nice. Um, next what I'm going to do, this is going to be like a TC loot room. got so far got the tc hidden behind the thing little that will be a little loop room in the end back here got a little three box thing so when when i've when i've got to the point that i've got a garage door we'll switch this door out put a second floor in that and six or seven boxes or whatever in there two levels instead of just one so I think the next mission should be like a bit of a farm up. I need a lot of metal, but I need furnaces as well. Maybe we'll go for a bit of a roam around. Maybe uh, sums up farm up. furnaces already. Oh, someone's raiding. Very close by. Okay. So, back to the farming mission, I suppose. the worst that could happen, eh? Oh, okay. It's been a while since I've flown one of these, Jesus. I could take that. I could take that and go and just get all these farming done all in one world, I suppose, couldn't I? Let's head to water treatment and see what's going on in there. Oh no, I've run out of fuel. Just want to check out the roller room more than anything. See if there's any decent loot in there. That is very close. Coming. Never mind. Where were we? I'm 
mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that he's going to have taken everything. But... That's a touch. So all he took was the gun and the bullets. It's not... Let's try and get this jump up and roof access done. So we want to start with a triangle foundation here. There's a square one next to it. And then another triangle. for a while to get up there, but it is what it is. By this point in the day, time was starting to get the better of me. If I wanted to get this base finished and sealed by the end of the day, I had to get a wriggle on. So we're secure again. Now the next thing is honeycomb. Sun's coming up. I've got a lot of wood on me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, nearly thirteen k wood on me. We should be enough at least to get the top floor built out of wood. So that will be another loot room in here. There we go, we're secure. Done. Right, we are secure.
think this is the key to it, you know, just like short runs. That is definitely drawing attention to myself, though, isn't it? Let's see if we can't get this honeycomb to make everything a little bit more secure. Now we've got some more resources. Where I screwed up the foundation to start with and put it too high, I put in some extra half walls and stuff which are here, which I need to now get rid of. The last sections of these honeycombs are literally the last bits to, to finish the construction of like the main sort of base, you know. That high foundation stitched me up a little bit to be honest. Is what it is. I think this is right. Being a solo, it's important to make your base as strong as you possibly can to help make it as hard for raiders as possible. So, with that in mind, I upgraded all of the honeycomb and roof sections to metal so that if someone did try to raid me, it would cost them that extra few rockets. Everything around this should all be sheet metal and it should all be the right way around. So, what we're going to do is firstly, safety first, just in case. final walk around before we disappear so we've got main entrance right here up the old roof into a nice little airlock into some space for whatever this is going to turn into in the end doors all there uh, when you come into here you've got this other little whatever that's going to turn into in there so much space as well plus all this here tier two will eventually go there when the tier three goes downstairs then furnaces go in, let's just clean those up, jump up there, close that one. So, if I remember right, to build the bunker, oh no, I can't seal it, can I? Why can't I seal that? What have I done wrong? I immediately knew the mistake that I'd made. You can use one or two ways to get a floor into the middle of the wall. You can either, in the triangle where your TC is, put a floor frame around the TC and then that will allow you to put it in, or you put a half wall into your honeycomb, both of which I had forgotten to do. And being out of time now, the only thing that I could do was seal the jump down as best I could and hope that everything was still there in the morning and I could try my best to fix it then. Well, for some reason the bunker's not working. I think I've missed a half wall somewhere, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to remedy tomorrow. But the base is in one piece. It's together. That's the main thing. So let's see what happens tomorrow. 
and depending on which way you look at it, all my problems were kind of sorted out overnight. Oh, what? Are you kidding? Pablo Escobar raided me. Are you kidding me? Well, I hope he enjoyed the big fat nothing that was in there. And it also made an absolute fucking mess of everything. Chainsaw it. Left the comms. Well, is it salvageable? I mean, he's taken, literally taken everything. Pablo Escobar, whoever he was, had wrecked this base. To the point where I just didn't have the time or the energy, really, to think about putting it back together. That being said, I did really enjoy the build up to that point, and it's for sure something that I'm going to try again in the future. And if there's a particular type of base or a particular type of build that you think that you'd like to see me try, hit me up on Discord or on Twitter or leave a comment on here and I'll have a look at it and see if it's something that I can get done. And finally, I have to do that thing and say that if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed any of it at all, please drop a sub and a like, leave me a comment, let me know. If it's things that you hated, leave me a comment, let me know. Like, I'm always looking to improve. And I appreciate each and every sub and each and every comment. Thank you.